The event was held at the historical Jayashree Mahabodhya premises in Anuradhapura with the participation of the Mahasangha. President Ranil Vikramasinghe presented the Sri Sannas Patra to the recently elected Anuradhapura Atama Sanadipati, Most Venerable Dr. Palle Gamahema Ratala Nayakathero. Prime Minister Dinesh Kunavardhana presented the Vijini Patra to the Most Venerable Thero. Most Venerable Dr. Palle Gamahema Ratana Nayakathero was elected as the Atama Sanadipati after the demise of the previous Atama Sanadipati, Most Venerable Dr. Palle Gamasiri Nivasa Nayakathero. In 1997, he was appointed as the Vihara Adhikari of the Ruan Valley Mahasaya, and in the same year, he was honored with the title of Nuwara Khalavia Chief Sanganayaka. He is responsible for initiating a silent mission for religious revival in Sri Lanka. We cannot move forward without assistance. If we move away from this relief, our economy will collapse. Our domestic reserves are not sufficient. Our foreign reserves are also insufficient. But going forward in this manner, we will be able to boost the economy from 2024 onwards. If we are to reach our pre-2019 levels and be able to provide relief to others, we will need to increase our income by 15%, which means that we will have to increase our current income by 75% in three years. This is the biggest problem we face. We will not receive any assistance if this is not done. That is why we took steps to impose taxes like this. I am aware that it is difficult when taxes are increased suddenly in a collapsed economy. But we will not be able to move forward if it is not done. If it is not done, everything that was done thus far will be pointless. Which is why the IMF advised that we impose tax on income in order to protect vulnerable groups. Even now vulnerable groups are struggling. That is true. They acknowledged it. When we debated with them, the IMF told us to impose a tax on those who earn an income of 43,000 rupees. We informed them that we cannot do that and that we will do it for an income of 150,000 rupees. We had to come to an understanding of imposing taxes on incomes worth 100,000 rupees. As a politician, we do not want to be in that position. But to save the country, we must do that. I am aware of how difficult this is. There is debt and other expenses like education costs. I feel it too. Both of us had to face this situation as well. Some have even taken house loans. I have to build a house as well. But I am not going to ask for compensation from the government. We all know how difficult this is. But we cannot distance ourselves from this situation. If we continue like this for another year, we will be able to develop this further. If our income stabilizes, if it strengthens, I expect to provide allowances to state sector employees during the third quarter of this year. We must increase salaries in the future once the economy develops. This is tough. It is difficult to deliver this message as well. It is difficult for a politician to deliver this message. But I have always said it like it is. Win or lose. We must overcome this challenge. That is why I am requesting everyone in parliament to extend their support so the people can overcome this situation. <laughs> Ekamang hemek ke na ke mila ni. Ye sahayoge parliament we dena janata ot meken go den.